Shazam! Nope, doesn't work for me. Just got done seeing Shazam. Um, I'm going to say I did like it. I do like it. I would suggest checking it out. There's some things, obviously, you know, they always have to change an origin story or, you know, change a character or something. Uh, I'm not going to throw any spoilers out there, um, but they did do something I wish they hadn't yet. They did do something in the in the movie that is in the comics and is a, is a real thing, but I feel like it shouldn't have been um, brought out yet, and it, it should have been maybe a later later movie or something like like, like uh, Shazam three maybe that would have been a good one or even maybe two but I hope it's something that they when going forward in the Shazam movies that they don't continue to bring back every single time I hope it's something that it can it can be a only when necessary thing and I'm gonna leave it at that go see the movie and find out what I'm talking about but overall I still wish that they would have got a guy big to fit the suit and because the suit still kind of looked like it was just like a guy in a bubble suit but it did look better than i thought it was going to and the and the guy i forget his name something levi who plays him is really great he did really or not great but really good he did really good uh a problem i had though is that you know you have billy batson he's, he's 15 and he acted more like a kid as shazam than he did actually as Billy Batson, and that kind of makes no sense. Like he didn't act like that little scared kid, or or like a um, like like a playful, like oh my god, dude, look at this. Like he only did it when he was when he was Captain. I'll just say it, Captain Marvel. He's Captain Marvel. That's his real name. Um, but we were really just going to call him Shazam. But um, yeah, he acted more like a kid when he was the superhero than he did when he was a kid. Like, I feel like it should have been, like, it should have matched. Like, I mean, granted, if you're 15 and you're granted superpowers and you, you look like an adult now, that might make you act a little more, like, you know, kiddish, you know, kind of like, all excited, oh, shit, superheroes, you know? But I just feel like, he, you know, he has this deep voice as a 15-year-old kid and then he Shazam, like, dude, really? Like, I mean, as a fucking kid, this kid, he, uh, Billy Bassett has a deeper voice than, than an adult man <laughs> playing Shazam, which is kind of weird and funny at the same time. But, um, like I said, overall, it was a, it was a pretty good movie. And I like that they tied in other superheroes in the movie. That's not a spoiler. Like, I'm just saying, if you watch a trailer, you know, they said, hey, can you fly like Superman or, you know, whatever. So, like, it's, it's the fact that they're acknowledging these other superheroes in the world of the, of the, the DC's trying to make now. Um, <clears throat> but overall, go check it out. I'm going to give it a four out of five. At first, it was going to be a little bit lower and the lower. And then the more I thought about it, it brought the ranking up a little bit because of certain things that they did and, and, and little things that you could catch. And the fact that, and you see it in the trailer where he said he grabbed there in the, he's fighting in the toy store and he grabs the Batman uh, toy and he throws it at, at him at the bad guy that the voice is uh kevin uh, i'm gonna go blank on his name now but the guy who voices batman from the animated series um kevin conway i, sh I should know this name and I, I i feel like a dick for not getting it right but the voice from the 90s cartoon uh animated series what he, he when he threw it it was like i'm batman <laughs> I, and I, I caught that right away, and I thought that was awesome. That's not going to be a spoiler because it's in the trailer, except for when they when they throw it in the trailer. I didn't catch it. I didn't hear that. Um, but like I said, overall, go check it out, and then uh, let me know what you think. And you could always follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and IGTV at ParanormalPat64. You can email me at ParanormalPat64 at gmail.com. Maybe uh, you have a ghost story. You have an EVP you've caught. You just want to talk. Um, send me a message. You can let me know about your story and all that stuff. Uh, and, uh, you can always follow my, and please follow my, um, YouTube channel at Paranormal Pativity Podcast. Uh, you obviously get the same thing on YouTube as you do on the IGTV. I know I'm a paranormal, uh, podcast, but I do like doing these movie reviews and I have another one that will be coming up tomorrow. Pet Cemetery.